welcome to the Nexus. Uh, I'm doing this little video, uh, an update really, on the T800. Um, haven't really had much information, so I reached out to uh, Agora Models. So, uh, Agora Models, thank you so much for the information that I'm about to share. Um, also, as well, the information I'm about to share was done in emails, which are uh, for transparency, because I don't want to keep anything from anyone. Uh, I'm going to publish the emails that I received. So you've got more guaranteeing than just me saying um, this is what's happening. Um, so I'm going to publish them on my Facebook page. So if you're not on the Nexus Facebook page, uh, get on it. If you're watching this on Facebook, then it's most likely you're watching it through the Nexus. So there's a little icon up here that says for Nexus. Click on that, like the page, and you'll be able to read it all there. There's also links at the bottom on this video if you're watching it on YouTube. Uh, there is a link there to our Facebook page. Go on there and you can read the email uh, conversations that I was having with the guys over at Agora Models. So Agora Models are doing the same Terminator build, exactly the same as the Harshell one. Exactly the same. They're in partnership with them. Uh, I do believe that Agora have now taken it over and uh, they're have a more of a worldwide release for it which is really good it, uh, another thing to point out as well is that the plasma rifle that was a free gift with harsh i know a lot of people were saying um are, are they going to uh, are agora going to get it the question is yes you will be able to purchase this from agora separately uh sometime in the summer uh not too sure exactly when on the date but sometime in the summer, so July, August time maybe, it will appear on Agora's um, web shop slash Facebook page, um, website, should I say, sorry. And uh, you'll be able to purchase it from there, which is really good news, especially for people uh, who haven't been able to get one. It also means it's good news for people in uh, Australia, there where it was released by Hachette. They said they couldn't do it. It was due to um, shipping and all that. Agora found a way to get it, so it means also as well, it means our uh, overseas friends in the US will also be able to uh, get the, the weapon as well, the plasma rifle. And for us in the UK, it means we'll be able to pick up a second one, or maybe even pick up a first one, which we couldn't pick up before when um, Harshet were doing. So, there's that out of the way, it's the good news as well. So the questions that I asked was... Uh, how are this thing's going to be powered up and about the chest plate. So let's do the power up first. So um, Agora said it's going to be two separate power sources for the Terminator. So there will be no ugly wires coming from the back of the head. So the back of the head will be a self-contained unit, which will have a circuit board, obviously um, a receiver and the battery pack. I do believe the battery pack that we received with the Terminator, it was the battery pack that actually goes into the Terminator. That is it. There is no wires coming anywhere from down behind it or anything like that. It's a self-contained unit. The base. The base is run on batteries as well. Uh, there is no um, AC point on there. Though I believe um, there will be some sort of mod that someone will do. Uh, but as it stands, there is no... Um, there is no AC adapt for that. It will be battery powered, similar to the head. So there'll be um, a, a battery pack underneath the base. Uh, there'll be an on off button as well. And the other bit of news is for the chest plate. So um, for the past couple of months, actually since the whole thing started, uh, people have been wondering whether the chest plate, uh, so the big metal chest plate that sits on the front of the, uh, of the terminal is gonna be either plastic or metal uh, the response I got from Agora was it's plastic so uh, they said with it being die cast it would be far too heavy it would be far too I mean it's really really heavy now but it'd be really heavy um, so I don't know whether that's a good thing or a bad thing I know some people think that's a bad thing but I actually think that's pretty good uh, you don't want this thing to be top heavy especially when it's on the stand uh, and for displaying purposes as well. Also as well, it's worth noting that this will probably need the, the the display base, which also comes with the model. I know there were some discrepancies on whether that, that it would come with the model or not. It definitely comes with the model. It's definitely part of the build. So you should not have to worry 
um, about trying to display this thing because you'll definitely need the display and the stand for this to stack. There's no other way that it will understand. At the moment, it's very top heavy. Uh, and with a, a, a die cast chest plate, I think it would be far too heavy. So I do believe that's why it's plastic. But yeah, Agora, thank you so much for the information that you've given me. Um, for people listening, spread the word. Spread the word. It's it's going to be plastic, not die cast. Um, and uh, how do I know? It's obviously, Agora have the prototype and they obviously are doing it as well. They're much more engaging than Harshet. I've been trying to get this sort of information from them forever. And it's all left to speculation. Now we actually have firm proof that this is what it is which is uh, really really good and and that's it really for uh, a little bit of an update on the terminator build anyway thank you for watching remember to follow us on facebook twitter instagram and youtube thank you for watching and we'll see you at the next video